Are property prices going to continue to fall or are we nearing the end of a year-long softening in the real estate market? My name is Oscar Russo, joining me is Neha Bachia, and you're watching Construction Week in Focus. Neha, we've seen um, a bit of a mixed fortunes in the real estate market, certainly in the UAE so far this year, with some declines in the market and some people predicting how long those declines will last. Bring me up to speed on what we've seen so far in the market. I think broadly it's been a good year for the developers that have um, delivered projects for more than 10 years, that have a respectable land, land bank to speak of. I'm thinking of MR, Aldar, uh, Demac, even Azizi, which is a relatively new player, um, is doing a lot of work. There's lots of handovers expected from Azizi this year, and especially some early handovers as well, which is interesting for the contractors working with um, Azizi. Um, I think even outside the UA, we've seen definitely um, some growth. Uh, in Saudi, we had Daral Khan, the Saudi developer, recently reporting 892% growth. Crazy profit growth. <laughs> That's just amazing. Um, we didn't even know that that was possible, but <laughs> there you have it. Um, so I think just looking across the GCC, it's been a good year for the developers that um, have consistently delivered projects. And I expect to see more of that in the months to come. But I mean, we still have, while it's been positive, we still have seen declines in the property market. We've seen values decline in Q2, Q1, um, and some people have spoken about that kind of continuing moving forwards. Aside from that, and aside from the, the positivity, what other trends are we seeing in the market? I think generally developers, um, and I think Dubai and the UAE are leading this trend. Um, we're seeing more of a focus on end users, and we've been seeing that since around about this time last year. Um, so you have to look at something like Majid al Fatem's program, mm -hmm. which involves um, neuro study to actually understand what end users, what tenants and residents most appreciate in a community that they want to live in. Okay. And Majid al Fatem conducted this entire study. It, um, you know, it hooked people up to a bunch of wires and there was a lot of detailing that went into that program. And I think that's really interesting because um, if we're looking at a sort of, if, if there are concerns of a market downturn, I think it's initiatives like these, like Majid al Fatems, that are actually going to make it easier for developers to sell their products, to make their, their um, output more appealing to end users. So I think we're going to see more of that in the months to come. Uh, I think there's also a focus on just making spaces bigger, mm -hmm. more livable. Because oftentimes you'll hear people complaining about how small the room is or the bathroom is, but um, I think that's changing. And I think developers are now using and focusing more and more on technology. Mm -hmm. um, there is a very conscious effort and understanding of the fact that no matter if you live in the building or you work there, you're going to need, for instance, high-speed internet. Mm -hmm. You're going to need good connectivity to be able to make phone calls. Um, and that sounds very simple. But that's definitely, you know, gaining more traction in the development market. So lots happening. Lots happening. And that focus on the end user as well, I think, is a really important point. You talk about Magic Alpha Tames program, looking at that user experience as well, which is a term obviously we talk about a lot in like the e-commerce sector. But Magic Alpha Tame is not the only one looking at that, that end user experience. And of course, all developers will be looking at providing great services for their tenants. But Mag Lifestyle as well, Mag Lifestyle Development, they're building their wellness resort, which is a, an incredibly fascinating project where they've partnered with a US wellness-based real estate firm where they're developing uh, spas and a range of different facilities that improve the, the mental well-being of tenants as well, which I think, again, demonstrates what you're talking about is that focus on the end user. So a lot of really exciting stuff to be uh, looking forward to in the real estate market. Don't forget, we're nearly a month away from the top 50 GCC developers, which is similar to Construction Week's Power 100 list. Lots of exciting content to come. Um, stay tuned for more. Um, but until then, you've been watching Construction Week in Focus. Um, we're also pleased to be giving away a limited number of email vouchers worth 500 dirhams, and you can spend this at a range of fantastic places. Now, to get your hands on one of the vouchers, 
All you have to do is subscribe to our YouTube channel, like the video, leave a comment below, and share it with all of your friends. Winners will be contacted directly by Construction Week. Um, don't forget that we publish new videos every Tuesday at 9am for Construction Week in Focus. Until then, thank you for watching and goodbye.